for our Rancho families. The El Rancho Unified School District will open its doors to our students and families for the fall of 2021 with in-person learning. With new guidance from the state of California, we can now share more information about what our in-person instruction program, as well as our new independent studies program will entail. First, I would like to take this moment to remind our families to complete the return to school survey, which is available on our website at www.erusd.org. This will help us identify how many students would like to return in person and how many students will choose to attend school through an independent studies program. As of this evening, we have over 3,300 responses which are about 89% who selected to return in person and about 11% of our respondents are interested in an independent studies program. Now let's take a look at our in-person instructional model. For students returning to our campuses for in-person instruction, they will experience a more traditional learning model where classes are held from Monday through Friday with weekly modified day schedules on Wednesdays. School starts and end times vary based on the school site and the grade level. So please check with your school to verify those times. We will continue to improve and maintain our safety protocols to provide our students with clean, safe and healthy learning environments. The state of California and the Los Angeles County Department of Health have required that all individuals wear masks, including masks while indoors. Masks may not be required while outdoors. The district will provide students and staff with masks upon their return. And if students forget masks at home, the district shall provide masks to all students. Know that in all classrooms, we will continue to provide plexiglass shields between every other student, as well as to ensure that there is some social distancing between desks. Along with continuing with social distancing, we have gone above and beyond to support top quality air filtration in each classroom with a medical grade air scrubber that works by cycling air in, cleaning the air, and sending the clean air out every 15 minutes. We have also upgraded our air conditioning filters with MERV 13 filters. Both the air scrubbers and the MERV 13s will provide superior air quality in our Rancho schools. Also, each school has directional floor and wall markings to support social distancing, which includes safe travels in our hallways. In regards to schools and classroom facilities, we have added more hand washing stations and water filling stations at each school site to prevent crowding. We have a great team of custodians in El Rancho Unified. They're hardworking and they take pride in their work. All of our custodians will perform regularly scheduled and routine cleaning throughout the day. Know that there will be regular cleaning by a day custodian at each school site and also by a night custodian at each school site. School staff will also take part in making sure our schools are safe and healthy learning environments for all students. We are gonna encourage our parents to perform daily health screenings for COVID-19 symptoms. Some symptoms include fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea, and new loss of taste or smell. Students with any of these symptoms or who have signs of illness are not to be sent to school. Please consult with your healthcare provider for further guidance. Students with symptoms or who do have signs of illness during school hours will be quarantined and held in an isolation area on site until parents can pick them up as quickly as possible. The El Rancho Unified School District will continue to provide COVID-19 vaccination clinics to offer students ages 12 and up access to vaccines.
This year, each school district in Los Angeles County will have to offer an independent studies program known as an ISP. All students enrolled in our ISP will be placed on an individual academic plan created by a parent, a teacher, and a school counselor if needed for the 2021-2022 school year. The Independent Studies Program is a voluntary alternative program designed to support our students whose health would be put at risk by participating in in-person instruction as determined by the parent or guardian. This is an alternative program and not an alternative curriculum. Students will receive the same quality education that would be received if they were attending in person. Parents, please know that independent studies is not a hybrid model. This year, Ms. Sierra will be the principal implementing and supervising as well as monitoring the ISP. She has 25 years in El Rancho Unified as a teacher and 16 of those years as an independent studies professional. She will be leading the force to ensure our parents and students are fully versed in ISP as she supports this new program. Ms. Sierra will be supporting parents and teaching them how to monitor their students' progress by using the teacher gradebook and using the ARIES Parent Portal app. Please note that class size for the ISP cannot exceed 25 in each class. To apply for independent studies, please contact our Student Services Department at 562-801-7380 or email us at studentservices at erusd.org. What is important to identify about the new ISP is that the students with special needs cannot participate in the program unless the IEP specifically allows for participation. Therefore, an IEP meeting would need to be scheduled to take place to add ISP as an alternative model for instruction if the student does not have it stated in his or her IEP. Please contact the Special Education Office for more information regarding this topic. Our ISP will differ based on the grade level. ISP will contain students from transitional kindergarten to grades three, and these students will be provided opportunities for daily synchronous instruction known as online instruction with their teacher, as well as participating in independent work time known as asynchronous instruction. In grades four through 12, Students will check in every morning for attendance with their teacher and they will participate weekly in synchronous instruction, which means one online instructional period with their teacher. Again, students from transitional kindergarten through third grade who choose to be a part of the independent studies program will meet daily with their teachers for instruction. 4th through 12th grade will meet daily to track attendance. However, instruction with a teacher will only happen online once a week. Please be advised that if you choose to enroll your student in the independent studies program, extracurricular activities, including sports, are not part of that option. Therefore, students will not be allowed to participate. For the ISP program, grab and go lunches will be distributed daily at our three middle schools, similar to last year. Attendance and participation in the ISP program will be closely monitored daily. Students who fail to maintain adequate attendance and participation by being absent for three days or more will be required to re-engage in in-person instruction. Our focus for the 2021-2022 school year revolves around mitigating learning loss. Throughout the previous year, there were many instances where the learning for our students may have been interrupted. Things such as difficulties with technology, sudden family medical emergencies, or simply having to cope with the changes taking place around our students' lives due to COVID-19. These were important factors. 
we knew a framework was needed that would allow us to mitigate learning loss by identifying gaps in student learning. Therefore, we will begin implementing the multi-tiered systems of support known as MTSS to assist all of our students, regardless of the learning model, to recover from any possible learning loss due to the hardships caused by COVID-19. MTSS is a framework designed to systematically identify students who may be struggling and require additional support and interventions. The tiered support structure allows us to apply appropriate levels of support that address the specific needs of each student. As we implement this framework, please know that a complex system such as MTSS is not built in a year. During the 2021-2022 school year, the El Rancho Unified School District will work to analyze data to find the learning gaps, identify needs, and deploy strategies to address learning loss. El Rancho Unified will commit to ensure that our principals, our teachers, and our staff will meet regularly to analyze data, create strategies, and address students requiring intervention. We will design interventions for all students, especially our students who are of special needs, our students who are categorized as ELs and our LTELs, as well as our foster youth and our students struggling with homelessness. This year, in addition to initiating the multi-tiered systems of support framework, we are bringing on additional staff and systems to assist in identifying and prevent further learning loss. This includes intervention teachers, additional aides in the classrooms, additional counselors, mental health support providers, more tutoring services, and a lot more. We are committed to providing our students with the supports that they need to be successful. Of course, we have aligned our plans so that we address students' needs and we work to achieve the goals of the district mission and vision to reach the targets established in the local control accountability plan and address the focus areas of the district-wide strategic plan. Parents, we encourage you to send your students to our schools for in-person learning in the fall. However, for those who would prefer to enroll their students in our independent studies program, please know that your students will also receive top quality instruction and all the supports described above. We look forward to seeing you all on August 11th. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, and continue to be El Rancho Strong.